Martin. Nice to see you. Hi, Jay. Absolutely. Hi, Seth. Dylan. Nice to see you guys. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of The Phone Show. Hi, Jelly Bean. Hi, Fox Boy. Welcome to the show. Hi, Trippy. Thank God just call you Red. And Seth. And Steven. Werner. Welcome. Nice to see you guys. Well, what this is today is this is a Dagwood sandwich. Um, coined from the old uh, comic strips back in the day, 50s and 60s, Dagwood and Blondie. And I've been building these sandwiches since the 70s. And so I've gotten really good at it. Now, uh, this one is going to be a bit different, you guys. I've never done this sandwich before. And so it's going to be absolutely, totally new. And it's going to be on rye bread. Now, I'm, these are not my favorite crackers. These are Ritz crackers. I don't like them. So I'm going to try to fix them. Uh, and they're going on a sandwich today. Hi, Aaron. Yep, I got my buddy Mater and his buddy Ong Yong is going on with it. Hi, Andrew. Welcome from Michigan. Um, I'm building a sandwich build. Then I'm going to go to uh, building my paper stuff, which I make recycled paper toys. And so, and I teach you how to do it on YouTube. And I think five of these Ritz ought to be good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, Daga. It is a Dagwood sandwich. Now, I want to see if this cheese whiz will fix these Ritz at all. Not bad. Okay. Hi, Dakota. Really? Okay, and that'll fix all these writs. It's actually not too bad. And I'm not a fan of Ritz crackers, but I think uh, this fixes them. Eh, okay. So, you're in for a treat. Absolutely brand new sandwich. Hi, JJ. <laughs> yeah, Derek. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Okay, I'll put a lid back on that thing. <clears throat> and that's it. Okay, now, I think that's enough of those. And um, this is going to be a really garden fresh sandwich. Now, this here, this is a weed. It grows out of here. It's called um, purple dead nettle. You can actually eat the stuff. And so I'm, but it's very strong, so I'm not putting much on. Howdy, Sean. Nice to see you. Hi, Brian. I'm also using miner's lettuce. I am using cabbage leaf, baby kale, and a collard leaf. So I'm going to have lots of roughage from my garden. Uh, well, maybe, JC, maybe later. I got to do the sandwich build first. No, Igor, I do not. Master X? Sure, I remember you. Welcome back. Yeah, I know, Ko Kenobi. I do, too. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? 
Yes, user. I wish you would change uh, your user number and make a name there for it. It, it the, without a name, and eh, I don't even get to acknowledge users. Hi, Martin. Oh yeah, yeah. I have yes, I do. I got him in the Gray Bar Motel. As it turned out, I was a terrible tattoo artist, so I quit. I know, Dina. Uh, I was sad. Hi, Dom. How are you doing? Well, uh, Miss uh, Yongmo, um, these sandwiches are really healthy for you. Um, I build a Dagwood sandwich, but I like to build them healthy. Uh, because I think that that's a good thing to do considering all the fast food that there is today. It's it's just horrible. So, I build sandwiches and usually they're two meal deals. In other words, I eat them for lunch and I have half of it for dinner time tonight. Because I don't, I don't waste stuff. That, that is just all there is to it. Okay, now, y'all know I love cream cheese. Nah, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> and so I am putting a uh, cream cheese on uh, this sandwich today. Yeah, that piece of bread wants to fall apart. Oh, well, it's okay. I'll just stick it together with cheese. Oh! Oops. <laughs> Got cream cheese on my glasses. I think I might make some guacamole dip, put the cream cheese in it. Um, I don't know why. I'm just going to try it. Hi, Dak. So far, so good. Absolutely, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. X. Just another native? Well, I have no idea. I don't know what that means, so I have no idea. And now, um, somebody, I've been asked a couple of times to put cucumber on a sandwich. So I'm, I've got some cucumber right here, and I'm going to cut very, very thin slices of cucumber to go on this as well. Cucumbers make really good pickles, and they're really good in salads, too. And so, who knows? This might be a halfway decent sandwich to throw pickles on. I mean, to throw cucumbers on. Because it's going to be a, a rather green sandwich. And so, other than the cheese whiz and the uh, uh, <laughs> crackers. <clears throat> now, that make one more. Okay, there we go. Got one more. Okie dokie. Hi, Jack. Nice to see you. Hi, Murph. Yep, Dagwood. Oh, what? No. I had cream cheese all over that there. Now I got it all over everything that doesn't need to have it on it. Okay, fixed it. Okay, so I guess we're about ready to build this thing. Yeah. Oh, good, Kronk. <laughs> nice one. Yes. Super Coop. Cream cheese. Yeah. Well, Mike, uh, I have been busy in the garden. Oh, no. Mustard stains jeans. If you've seen any of my garden videos, you know I've been extremely busy with the garden. 
I've got the last two or three rows. Oh, this is the weirdest thing. I get out to the garden and there's crow prints all the way down my zucchini row. So I dug up my zucchinis. The crow got in there and ate every seed out of the row of zucchinis. Now I got to replant them all. And so, yeah. Thank you, Super Coop. <laughs> Honey, buddy, I'm sorry your phone died. <clears throat> uh, well, Z, I um, I used uh, leg bones because I broke them. And I put barbed wire on them. And this is my own design. Uh, but shoot, I was no good at it. And so I decided not to do any more. I've got like six total. I have my own designed one and drawing that I built and made and it's on my ankle. And so I want to have that one redone. And I'd like to have these redone too someday when I got the money to do it. Until then, now. Uh, white stuff, quark, is um, in quark. I'm a human. Uh, it's cream cheese. Oh, that's cool. Young Mo? Miss Young Mo? Well, welcome to my phone show. I do a live show Monday through Friday, noon to 2 Pacific Standard Time. Um, 11.30 on my Dagwood days. Uh, also very hot. Okay, so I think, I think I'm ready to build this thing. Almost, almost ready, almost ready. Not quite. Uh, cucumbers uh, today. Because I had a lot of people asking me about cucumbers. And so I decided I was going to do cucumbers today. But this is going to be a super healthy sandwich. It's got, I think, every food group in it. I believe. And um, so your vitamin intake with this is going to be good. Absolutely, Adam. Well, Lynn, uh, let's tree Lynn. Um, no, it's not. People ate gluten since the beginning of wheat. Okay, and now all of these uh, people are saying gluten free. Oh, it's bad for you. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. They want to make everything bad because they have an agenda. Gluten. Some people can't take it, all right? That's true. Because some people are, uh, like, allergic to it. Most people are not. They just made a whole new industry because they want to say, oh, gluten's bad for you. Oh, There's too much panic in this world. Too many people are have an agenda. All right, and their agenda is to make their companies rich. Don't listen to all the hype. It's not always true. Well, thank you, Q. Okay, so I better start filming this thing. Okay, here we go. Quiet on the set, everybody. Good day, paper engineers in training and Dagwood fans. This will be posted on my uh, TikTok channel shortly. Now, what I'm making today is an absolutely brand new sandwich. This is um, beaver deli uh, mustard, hot. So, you know, over here, cream cheese. And um, I'm going to use some ham uh, right here on this sandwich. 
And so this is going to be a, a ham. It's like a deli sandwich, I suppose, because I'm using deli uh, rye. And now I'm going to put on uh, this here collard leaf. It's going to be some of my roughage. And uh, this is going to be, as far as I know, it's going to be a pretty uh, healthy sandwich for everybody. Okay, got that on there just like that. And uh, uh, I'm also going to be using this dead nettle. All right, now dead nettle is pretty powerful. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like mint. So you don't want to use much of it. And it grows wild out here. I, I got it everywhere. And so it's good. And the other thing that grows everywhere is miner's lettuce. And I'm putting that on as well because it is a, just a different kind of, of um, a protein, not protein, I should say vitamin, I guess, that you would need. And so, anyway, that that's the cool thing about foraging around your house and finding stuff you can eat. All right, now, I think I'm going to put on some of these here uh, pickled uh, mazzaretta uh, pepperoncinis because I wanted just a little bit of heat flavor. But I didn't want jalapeno heat. And so, anyway, we got the Meserettas on there. And now, Ritz crackers with cheese whiz. I don't know if this is going to be any good or not. I, I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like Ritz. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying the cheese whiz. Now, we squished all this on there. Uh, the cheese whiz should hold everything together really, really good. Okay, so, um, and now I'm going to put on some of these here uh, avocado. That's, you know, Homer Simpson's favorite fruit, avocado. Yep, there we go. And another piece that move this over a little bit, put that one right there. And uh, now, uh, I'm putting on my buddy Mater because y'all know he drives an awesome tow truck and he makes a fantastic sandwich. And so my buddy Mater's going on here just like this. Yeah, there we go. And his buddy, Ong Yong, going on top of there just like that. And now, to top this thing off, we're going to go ahead and put on some more. Uh, this is cabbage leaf. Grown, and these are these grew cabbage, the cabbage, and the uh, kale, the baby kale, and uh, the collards grew in my garden all winter. They never died. And now we're going to put on some of these here um, cucumber uh, slices, just like this. All right, like that. And now, um, a little bit of this cantaloupe. I'm just adding a tiny bit of sweet and a little bit more juice to this because cantaloupe's good for you as well. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? Looks like this is it. Let's put the lid on this thing. Just like that. Nice. This is going to be a two-meal deal. I absolutely know. Oh, thank you, Jay. I didn't know that. And now we're going to have to have a cross section. Hi, Legendary Neck. Nice to see you. This is a Dagwood sandwich. <laughs> Better than a hamburger. Okay. Cross section it is. There's your cross section. And this is a super healthy sandwich, even though it has, uh, you know, <laughs> Ritz cracker and uh, cheese whiz. Okay. Oh, and I want to tell y'all something. This countertop is granite. And I have a, 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 a wiper. Uh, let me show you. This stuff here. I clean the granite with this. All right, now it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Somebody says, oh, 1% germ. Well, I got news for you guys. If there was a 1% germ in this entire world, we would all be gone. There's no such thing. 
These fools have to do that so that they protect their little bottoms for whatever reason. There is no such thing as a 1% germ. And so my tabletop is cleaned uh, as granite. There is never anything on it. So anyway, welcome Dagwood engineers and uh, paper engineer fans. What we got here is a Dagwood build, and I'm going to have it uploaded shortly. See you soon. Okay, we got to get all the hashtags on this thing. Yep, absolutely. Oops, come on now. There we go. Now let's post this. Post it. Post it. Okay, you guys. Now we're going to do the taste test. Not yet, Chris. You got to wait until the bag was done. Because I, my keys, because I live at my brother-in-law's place, he has locks on a lot of things. Well, he's at work, and I have to get stuff. I need to get stuff out of stuff that's locked. That's why I have so many keys. Well, uh, 111, what truth would you like to know? You have to look at the video when it's posted. I want to thank you all for your support. Um, Calcifer. Oh, how, how's the sandwich? It's pretty good for a veggie thing. Wow. And you can taste the cucumber. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you all for your support. Very much. I appreciate it a lot. Well, rating on this sandwich. I would say it's a nine. Oh, thank you, partner, for the cowboy head. And I got a lot of roughage in this sandwich. Hi, Burrito. Oh, thank you for the crown. Uh, Iggy, it's a Dagwood sandwich. It's a very good sandwich, Megan. Hi, Jack. Um, sorry, Bush. You've been eating Bush Wookie. You've been eating too many Ewoks. The cool thing, Sean, you can supplement with anything you want. That's okay, Rambo. It's 76% loaded. And so, is a brand new video be on TikTok. Yeah, ham as well. Well, Biggie, if I ever uh, pickle any more garlic, I will. Well, Blazing. Mmm. Back in the 50s and 60s, there was a comic strip in the newspapers called Dagwood and Blondie. And Dagwood always made these sandwiches, and they called them Dagwood sandwiches. Because they were great big thick things. They had four layers of bread and, and just, you can't, no, you know, just huge. And so in the 70s, I started making these Dagwoods uh, for my lunches when I was hanging gutter. Well... They represented, this represented thrush mufflers, 
And this over here is Harley Davidson. The rest of it was my own design, a uh, bone with barbed wire on it. I would have to say uh, pastrami. That's all right, flour. It'll be posted. It's 89%. Thank you, Nomad. You bet, Blazing. I'm doing good, Cox. Hi, Lucas. Well, G-E-Y, W-W-C, speak English, please. I need it. Oh, what a sneeze. Man. Thank you, Cox. Uh, quick, glue sticks don't work good. I've tried them. They don't work. Uh, Milus, I was in the Navy during Vietnam. Dag was for lunch, Hunter. This is a Dagwood sandwich bill, Juju. And it's a 90, it's 100% posted, you guys. The Dagwood is now on TikTok. The real paper engineer, the Dagwood sandwich is done. It has zero views. This is a really good sandwich, you guys. It, I said it was a nine. But I tell you what, the more I eat of it, the better it tastes. You bet, Dot. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven tattoos. We need to free Palestine. We need to free Israel. We need to free the world. There's too much war going on everywhere, you guys. I'm not picking sides on any of this. The human race is what's getting destroyed. And I believe in humanity. And so we need to stop war everywhere. Uh, thank you, Cameron. Well, it's a two-meal deal. I got half of it for later. Cole, you have to go look at my video. It just posted. Kalis, he was named after a Klingon warrior. Yeah, I know they do. Berries are good for you. No, um, in two weeks, I'm going to make the blackberry pie. <laughs> unless, unless you're coming over this weekend, Eric, then I'll make one. That's all right, Delight. The Delija, Delija. I think that was right. I can't remember. Yes, you did, Fook. <laughs> but it's posted. Yes, autonomous. And I have everything except uh, raspberries. I don't have any black or red raspberries growing yet. AJ looks like the other half of my sandwich for dinner. Uh, 
And a munch? It's a Dagwood. I made it. Uh, I know, Sean. They're over on uh, YouTube. <laughs> they make a good Reuben, don't they, Eric? Thank you, Sam. Well, Cox, a lot of people have agendas. And because they have an agenda, they do their best to make life miserable for the other people they don't like. And it's unfortunate. We need to start realizing we're the human race. We're not races. We're the human race. And we need to start treating the human race better. It took about four minutes to make it, Paul. I like M&M's plain. I don't like M&M's peanut. Lucas, I said hi when you first came in. Name a car for the edits. Um, 51 Studebaker car. Nah, sorry, softball. Santa Claus lives at the North Pole. I'm down here in Washington State. Yes, autonomous. Yes, Juju, it is good. Well, I never had a caramel M&M. &M. Sounds fantastic. Yes, Austin, it's a Dagwood. Oh, that's okay, Lucas. You don't have to be sorry about it. Ah, I'm in Washington State. So I guess that makes me an old white guy. Rust, you just got to look at the video. It's posted on TikTok. Hi, Coops. Yeah, Lucas, you don't be sorry about missing something like that. I'll just, I'll just let you know. Well, the nice thing is I put Ritz crackers on here and Cheese Whiz on the Ritz. <laughs> it's crunchy. I'm going to have to work on something with maybe Doritos or Fritos or something. Hi, Nick. Doing well. Uh, no, Zach. I don't go to delis. I have, but I don't. I make my own sandwiches now. Well, Ian, this is a Dagwood, and I'm probably going to be building on the um, snow speeder some more. Yeah, Sean, potato chips of some kind. We're doing a shout out to MSM Deli in Tacoma. Nice. Yes, Moo, I have since I was a little kid. Hi, Centeno. Uh-oh, they got booted. Uh, yeah, in the Navy, I was a parachute rigger. I was in charge of survival equipment. Liquid oxygen, parachutes, flotation gear, ejection seats, that kind of stuff. You can't buy it, Ian. You got to look it up on my videos. It's a brand new video I posted. I make all my own sandwiches.
Thank you, Bass. Hi, Tyler. Absolutely, Eric. Welcome back, Troll. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Well, yeah, you missed it, but I tell you what, you guys, this is a really good sandwich. I, I, I underrated it when I first started eating it. Now that I'm done, I want to eat some more, but it's too much. I'd say it's a it's a nine plus. A very good sandwich, you guys. Anybody want to make it, I think you'd do a really, really good job at it. You can substitute any meat you want. Okay, now I have a little bit of leftover stuff. And so I always uh, I don't like wasting anything, so this um, this little bit here is uh I'm gonna eat that too. Yeah. Homer Simpson's favorite fruit. Avocado. Well, fast, I've been really fortunate. I only made one bad sandwich and I threw it away. It was with red leaf cabbage. Don't ever do it. They're terrible. Greeble? Oh. How you doing, Greeble? Wow. Very good sandwich, everybody. Wow. Yep. Okay. Got all kinds of crumbs. Don't want the crumbs getting on everything. Because they mess up my chair. Handy little toy, these dust busters. Okay. Now, I need to put this stuff back in the refrigerator. Oops. Almost done. I have another Dagwood. Yeah, okie dokie. I gotta get those in there too. Hi, Finger. Hi, DJ. Nice to see you. Well, old school. It was a ham and a cheese with uh, Ritz crackers. And so, oh, thank you very much, Aaron. And I want to thank all of you. 
you guys over there on uh, on YouTube, thank you very much for donating uh, even a dollar. It helps me with my uh, rent here in my little office. And so I have a cash app and I have Venmo now. And I want to um, thank you all very much for your donations. They have made a life-saving change for me in my office here. Uh, this is a sandwich. It absolutely is a very good one, too. I was absolutely surprised that the Ritz crackers and the um, um, a squeeze cheese, what do, you, what do you call that stuff? Um, darn it. Cheese Whiz was really good. And so there's your cross-section of a fantastic Dagwood sandwich. If you have a chance, go to my show on um, The Real Paper Engineer on TikTok, and you can make this sandwich. All you got to do is watch the video, write down the ingredients, and you got it. Okay, now I have to clean up um, the table so that I can go to building. Yeah, nice thing about these wipes, uh, they clean things up really, really well. I do, Aaron. Thank you very much. Uh, it costs me four hundred a month, and my social security is eight hundred a month, and so um, it's a uh, <laughs> everything that you guys do for me absolutely is amazing. Gats, Gattis, thank you. 650 members of the team, you guys. We are getting a very, very righteous team together. Okay. I've got cucumber has to go back to the house. So does this ham. Because um, I better put this ham in the fridge first. Nice thing about having rubber bands to build with, you can rubber band stuff together. It keeps it from uh, getting air in it. Uh -huh. Come on. There we go. And I haven't had any Pepsi in a couple of days. So I think I'm going to have a Pepsi Cola today for the show. Because, you know, I'm the old Pepsi generation. And I want to start a new one. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Hi, Legendary. Absolutely. I'm the old Pepsi generation. Uh, I want to start a new one. No, yeah, well, dessert? Yes, Brady. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Aaron, for the Rosa. Hi, Blackpool. Nice to see you. Uh, not, not yet, Ed. It takes a minute for it to work. Pepsi burp coming. Now, when you're building these snow speeders, I took and I drew this on uh, this piece, okay? Because I wanted to make sure that I kind of understand what kind of parts have to go into this. Hi, Parker. How you doing, Layton? Nice to see you. Ah, uh, yeah, Beck. Absolutely. And you got more of it to waste than I do, Beck. So, I hope you don't waste your time talking dribble. Because, Beck, life is short. Uh, 
Okay, now what I'm doing right now is I'm trimming this edge because I had to make it a little bit uh, shorter because it has the angle that these things have to go by. Well, Matthew, you have to have faith in humanity like I do. Oh, Pepsi burp. There it is. No, Pixie, I did not. I am stuck on the paint job right now. You bet, Ed. Absolutely, Matthew, because the whole thing is this. If we goof this planet up enough, we can't survive it. Well, that means we're going to go on to whatever the Lord wants us to do next. I don't believe in um, him wasting anything, and that includes us. Hi, Frozen. Hi, that's a really good quote, Frozen. Hi, Lynn. Well, thank you. I, I don't know who Chad is. <laughs> uh, the wristwatch con is, is a nothing. It's an epoch. It, it, it's a nothing. And oh, by the way, anybody that wants to try and figure out if I got code words or passwords or something by stuff that I do or say, <laughs> I do not. Hi, Ham. Sun and moon and stars and number one, always. Thank you, Sean. Oh, thank you, honey bunny, for all your support. Well, Ed, the nice thing is I live in the country. Uh, it's easy for me to get lost in, except I know my way. You know, I know north and south and all that kind of good stuff, so I never get lost in it. Uh, right now, what I'm making is snow speeders from Star Wars. These are uh, paid for build, and so I'm uh, working on them. Oh, thank you, Pixie. <laughs> okay. Thank you, AR. Hi, Dean. Well, thank you, Lynn. Cheers. Uh, Pepsi. Thank you, Brian, for following me. And thank you guys for sharing me with others and putting up all the likes you guys do. It is, Loki, and it's really good. Nope, nope, pothead. The tractor is not anywhere near done. Right now, uh, the tractor is stuck until I can figure out how to fix the paint job. I've painted this four times. Had to tear the paint off four times. And so I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it. Because I don't use spray paint. And I've had to spray paint that because that's the only way you can get John Deere red, I mean green and yellow. And so the tractor is stuck. Oh, that's cool, Khan. Farim Abdul Khan. That's awesome. Nice. From South Africa, Colette, nice to meet you. Welcome to my phone show. Uh, Misha, no idea what you're talking about. Hi, Lenny. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, Elaine. Thank you, Beach Bum. Very much. Howdy, Egg. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> um, the first RPG that Star Wars made. It was the first edition. What? What do you mean, when am I going to start to build? What, this one? I've already started it. Been working on it for a little while. These are the guns for it. And so, uh, Kobe, uh, I hope you're not being facetious or I don't know what, Kobe. When are you going to start to build, Kobe? Are you going to build anything or are you just going to jabber? Uh, the sandwich bill's done. Done and posted. Hi, Sandy. Uh, no, not much, Sandy. Uh, I did them in the Gray Bar Motel. And uh, I wasn't any good at tattoos, so I quit. <laughs> oh, Pepsi burp. Uh, I don't know, Egg. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Pepsi burp again. Boy, that was quick. I think it's bouncing off that sandwich or maybe these uh, cantaloupe. Well, I made a T-16. Ah. You're not an egg? Okay, egg. And, um, I made the, uh, hey, what's wrong with you? I made a dragonfly. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Well, I'm sorry, Egg, but unless you change your egg spotter, Alfie, AJJ is egg. <laughs> no, Alfie, I did not. Considering you called yourself egg. Uh, yeah, Jay. <laughs> and I made Lucille too. And I, I got to show it to Jay. Jay loves Lucille. Um, the Walking Dead's iconic bat. <laughs> I'm sorry, egg. You're the one that put the name out there. I, well, Alfie, you know I have a visual dyslexia. Well, I'm sorry you spelled it wrong. I can't fix it. Well, I don't know what EGC is either. Oh, thank you, honey bunny, for the galaxy. And I want to thank you all for your support. It helps out so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, A-D-D-Y-L-A-N, Adeline, Adeline, thank you, and don't worry about the haters, <laughs> I don't, they don't, they don't bother me any, they can hate all they want until they try and make it on their own, they're just, they're just lying fools, <laughs> well, I'm sorry, egg, <laughs> Alfie, how's your mom doing? And your little brother and your sis. Well, Elaine, I don't know. Because the thing is, uh, I don't have to do that. And so there's no point in thinking about it. Well, thank you, King. That's, that's, thank you very much. That's, in, it's an honor. Yeah, I definitely don't worry about the haters. They don't mean anything to me. They're just jabbering because they're stupid and they can't do anything better. And so, you know, trolls, trolls be trolls. They live under bridges. People hate them. <laughs> they eat garbage. <laughs> yeah, trolls don't know anything better to do than be mean because their life stinks. Well, 
Thank you, Lenny. I try really hard to do that. It's one of those kind of weird things that my brain, because I'm on two channels. I'm on uh, YouTube and TikTok. Hi, Slime. Nice to see you again. Nope, Slime. That's that me. <laughs> Peeler knows. For him. And it's nice of you to be in my show, Fahim. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, the ribbons, all the ribbons in the background back there, I went to uh, three county fairs. One, two, three. And uh, with my paper art, I won every ribbon at every county fair. Oh, Dylan, you didn't need to wipe out Slime Queen. They've been here before. That wasn't mean. Oh, thank you, honey, Bonnie, for the cowboy hate. You're my favorite cowgirl. I love you a lot, sweetie. Uh, I don't know, Magic. I've never met a nice troll other than the recovering troll that's in our show. They're nice. I know, Nick, right? Oh, uh, yeah, Lenny, I can show you the dragonfly. No, King, you asked me that before. Uh, B-I-N-A, Bina Ren? Um, I'm building snow speeders. That's what I'm working on right now. Because I got to wait till I get the paint figured out on the tractor before I can finish it. I know, 10,000 likes. <laughs> Thank you, Savage. Thank you, Webb. Um, well, user, I tell you what, if you get rid of your numbers and come up with a name, I'll consider it and do it. Welcome back, Dakota. Pepsi Burp. Uh, 7K. I am working on snow speeders right now. Uh, thank you. McGirtz, a uh, tractor update. Uh, yes, I can show you the tractor update. I'm stuck on the paint job. I've uh, This is the fourth paint job that I've done on this thing, and it's not sticking right. And I this, since this is paid for, I can't goof up the paint. And so right now, I'm not doing any more on the tractor till I get the paint figured out. Well, I tell you what, 7K, you can come to my show. I do shows five days a week, Monday through Friday, noon to two, first show, four to six, second show. Um, I would love to see you in the show every day and, and wish you well. Thank you. Thank you, Cole. All right, done, Tim. Done, made and ate half of it already. Dagwood sandwich was very good. <clears throat> Thank you, Nailish, very much for your subscription. Welcome, Olivia. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't order any tam uh, Tamara. All right, I've got all kinds of acrylic paints, but I had to have John Deere official colors, yellow and green, and so I absolutely had to use uh, John Deere spray paint for it. Uh, can somebody help user 55 to fix his name? What? Well, Bredo, uh, no what? Oh, Jedi done. I'm well, thank you very much. Oh, that's good, St. Louis. Awesome news. Kadias, nice to see you. 
Uh, well, random buff. You have to look at my tutorials on YouTube because these are these are ten or twenty hours to build one. I can't be live for that long to show you how it works. It just doesn't work out that way. Oh, thank you, honey bunny. Hi, Tanguska. Nice to see you again. Yeah, Sean, it does. And so, I've got it. Okay, look at, wait. See here? I got it. But it's, it's, it, I don't know what's going on. It's being stupid. It won't, it won't work. It, it keeps crinkling up like crinkle paint. And that's no good. Travis, the tractor is stuck. The wrists were, the wrists were really good on the, on the Dagwood. I was surprised. Oh, well, I'm just, I build these models uh, from sight. Uh, okay. But I'm very, my mind is very attention to detail. And because it is, it's like building these wings. Okay. They're rounded. Uh, more so on the top than the bottom, so it creates lift. We well, have to build that into it. And that's what I've learned, and that's what I teach how to do, is build stuff that is super tough so that you can play with it with your kids or your mom, your dad, your grandparents. Oh, Pepsi burp. Excuse me. And so, anyway... Uh, the ribbons, Kyle, uh, I went to three county fairs in the state of Washington. One, two, three. I won every ribbon for my paper art that there is at all three fairs. And Slime Queen, how are you doing today? I didn't get a chance to ask you. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> I could, Bill, but that wouldn't give me the smooth finish that I need uh, for the tractor build. I know, the gun made, brr, gun with wings. Uh, no, Bucket, I am not. I'm the Dagwood Sandwich fan and uh, the paper engineer. Stance on religion, Andre. Religion has created more problems in this world than it's worth. I believe in one Lord. One. Okay, it doesn't matter if his name is Zeus, Poseidon, Allah, God, Yahweh, Yahshua, Jesus. Doesn't matter what he's called. Period. There is only one. And he sure doesn't want us fighting over his name or because he has a different philosophy in a different part of the world. I'm trying to change it. Because what's going on with religion is wrong. It's hateful. Because if you have a religion and you believe another religion is bad, that's hate. We don't need it in this world anymore. Yes, Trent, you did. But here's a good cross-section. Hi, Plushie. Nice to see you. Well, Peeler, that's true. But some people, you know, a lot of chats, Peeler, uh, all over the world in every chat room that there is, uh, people can't see because they got so much chat going on The people want to spam it because they're trying to get noticed. And the nice thing about my moderators and about the shows here is I try to notice everyone. I don't do it all the time because I can't. I'm on TikTok and I'm on YouTube. And so sometimes it makes it tough. Hi, Rav. Why don't you make something? Instead of being rude, Rav, you make something. Go to my videos and learn how to do it. That way, you can see how not easy some of it is. Thank you, Sean. Oh, uh, the DeLorean. Uh, Wooster wants to see the progress on the DeLorean. Uh, the, there is no progress on the DeLorean. Okay? It's stuck until I get the tractor done. But this is, so far, this is what I got. The wheels uh, turn. They're locked in place so they can't slip out of place. And uh, this is it so far. That's all there is on the DeLorean. 
And until I get the tractor done, I can't fix anymore. C-H-A-U-N, Chauncey? Thank you, Chauncey. You bet, Trent. And uh, it's posted, so if you want to make one, you can. Arjun. Yes, I can. I keep it in arm's range so that I can show it off. This was a very difficult build. It took over 260 pieces to make this, which was unusual for a small piece. And I do like Star Wars. Eh? And thank you all for sharing me with others and putting up all the likes. But I especially want to thank you for the financial help that you donate to me. It really has helped my life a lot. So thank you very much. Hi, Emil. Nice to see you again. Absolutely, Jedi. Hi, Torch. Yeah, it was Doctor Who. And uh, this is, uh, once you get really good at doing stuff, you can make something like this Star Destroyer. But you have to build them hollow, you guys. You have to learn how to build a superstructure inside. Uh, no, uh, Nick, I have not built a semi. Yes, yeah, Jay, it was fantastic. If it had not have been knocked over, I would have never had problems with it. Thank you, Torch. Up oh, that the comment hey you guys on YouTube, your comments are zooming by so fast you might have to repost them. I missed a bunch. Yes, it's all handcrafted. Everything I build is just like this. Pieces of paper. Until the pieces of paper are a finished product like this. All right? All of it the same way. Little bits of paper, you cut it and fit it. And, and when they're done, you have a perfect replica of something you want to build. No, Arjun, I don't have any TARDISes. I gave away my first, my number one TARDIS that I keep usually for me, my, me and my family. I gave it away to Bert, Bert Short. He has the number one. Uh, Healy, Haley, this, uh, this one took 536 hours. Uh, no, Trent, there is no scale. Thank you, Zona. All right, Dakota. Have a good day. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're giving them warnings. Because, uh, you know, people deserve a warning. Then they can get shot out of the cannon. <laughs> Goodbye. Trolls roll. Yep, two pounds. It's hollow. Yes, Flint. Everything I build is paper. See here? This was nicknamed the Pepsi Tank by uh, TikTokers. Uh-huh. Paper wheels, paper tracks, dental floss to hold them together, paper turret, paper missiles. Uh, well, <laughs> what do you think, Haley? Pretty much, yes. Thank you, Flint. Um, for him, uh, I only have two aircraft. 
uh, the SR-71 and uh, the A-10. <laughs> I know, for him, it is kind of cool. I also uh, I like the Abrams very well. And so I built an Abrams as well. Uh -huh. Very cool. I also happen to have the TIE Crawler. Um, also, very nice uh, Star Wars piece. Thank you, Haley. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Uh, yeah, but there is no origami here. All right? Nothing is folded. It's all cut and fit. That's the cool thing about this hobby. You make everything from scratch. Hi, Tiffany. I'm doing well. I hope you are also. Isaac, the sandwich was very good. Uh, low 10 range, upper 9s. But yeah, it was good. Hi, JR. Uh, well, John, uh, I have some bad news. <laughs> Darn it. I, I painted this. It looked really, really good. And then I knocked it off the box under the table and it got cat hair and dust and stuff on it. So I had to clean it off. I painted it three times since then to get the paint to work. So I'm stuck right now waiting on some uh, um, primer so I can primer this and get the uh, John Deere green to stick right. And so anyway, it's been stuck for two days. Oh... <sighs> Sorry, John. All right, Nick. Take care. It depends, Colby. Uh, something like this, the snow speeder, you can do in 10 hours. You know, or 10 days, an hour a night. Yeah, and the cat didn't knock it over. I did. And then when I picked it up, because the paint was sticky, everything stuck to it. It's like, oh, no. Hi, Cathal. Welcome to the show. Cats are cute. I like them very much. Uh, well, uh, Tanya, I'm 70. Hi, Meridius. Nice to see you. Burma hole and fitted wheel. Uh, for him, what do you, I don't understand. Uh, well, foods, I build paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen. Our favorite animal is a cat. I love dogs too, but cats are better. <laughs> yeah, oh, David, I don't know, but I got, um, <laughs> I got, Cash App, and uh, I, I went ahead and got um, Venmo, just in case you wanted to put a dollar in for the next uh, build. Uh, Aaron Cupcake is outside in the sun. Cincinnati's in. Hi, Uzi. Yes, uh, Jordan, I'm self-taught. This is my hobby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cats are cool. Hi, Broderick. What's up? Nice to see you. Hi, Lane. Hi, Muffin Man. Welcome back, Lane. Well, thank you, David. <laughs> it's because of you that I got it. And and it only took Honey Buddy and I, what, six months to figure it out? My honey's doing very good, Torch. Oh, Pepsi burp. I better chase that. 
The sandwich was good, Bob. Hey, Bob. Here's a cross section of it. That I've heard that, uh, David. And so anyway, but yeah. Hi, Moose. Well, sometimes I stare at this camera. Sometimes I stare at that one over there. Because I got two phone shows going at the same time, you guys. YouTube and TikTok. Ooh, hi, Bob. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, gross. I, I think Einstein was German or British or something. I don't know who. I don't know what Einstein was. Same way with Tesla. I think Tesla was uh, uh, Hungarian or something. And out of the brilliant guys in the past, I like Tesla the best. Well, uh, Torch, you'll have to ask Honey Bunny. For him, you're Indian? Like over in India type Indian? Thank you, that girl. Oh, that's fantastic for him. My mother is British, French, and Indian. A uh, Hindu Indian as well. And I don't know if Hindu matters, but she... Um, she, uh, so I have, I absolutely have Indian heritage in my line. Hi, DH. Uh, no, gross. Hungarian is from Hungary. I'm Bohemian. Although I'm an American, my heritage is from Bohemia. Emily, my YouTube name is The Paper Engineer. Yes, Gentry, welcome to the show. Well, Farheem, that is awesome, cool. I'm 70. Hi, Zoe. Welcome to my phone show. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it, Dylan? Well, Lane, today I'm working on snow speeders from Star Wars. Oh, Farheem, that's cool. Oh, yeah, Muslims, awesome people. Fantastic human beings on this planet. Salute, Farheem. I know Korea, DH. I'm in America. I'm over on the Pacific Coast, Washington State. Hydrogen? As in... Air, hydrogen? Wait a minute, gross. What are you talking about? Oh, paper craft? <laughs> yes, it's paper craft. And you can make anything you want once you learn my principles on how to make this stuff. Because it's recycled paper out of, your, out of your kitchen. Really easy to get. All right, Farheem. Good night. Take care. Well, that's cool, Zoe. I was in the Navy for four years during Vietnam. Well, Crystal, look at my tutorials on YouTube. That's the best way to learn how to make these. I have tutorials on this, how to do it. Oh, Pepsi burp. 
Howdy, troll. Welcome to the show. It's going good, B. I'm staying really busy. Thank you for the heart, me. Why, Richard? Are you saying something important? Oh, I know, gross. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, honey bunny. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Oh, it's good, Crystal. I believe that all people should go in the military for a while. It helps them. They learn. What's the matter, Richard? You can't talk to me now that I didn't ignore you? I'm on two channels, Richard. TikTok and YouTube. You try monitoring uh, two chats at the same time and get it right. Well, the cool thing is, Muffin Man, this, you'll never do another hobby once you start this, Muffin Man. Because if you work on this this week, and next week you work on a DeLorean, and the week after that you work on Battlestar Galactica, then you work on Babylon 5, then Star Trek, uh, then Hot Rods, and then F1, then aircraft or tanks. So Muffin Man, this art, this, my hobby works right into ADHD, just absolutely spectacular. Because the nice thing is, 10 weeks down line, you might start back on these and do a bunch more of these. Try it. I think you'll love this hobby. Uh, well, Richard, um, I'm going to leave that up to you. Uh, gross? I don't get it. Absolutely, Torch. You have absolutely an unlimited supply of options with this hobby. Oh, poor Richard got booted. Oh, yeah, gross. No, I don't do weapons. You bet, Muffin Man. It's amazing, okay? It's like I got stuck on the tractor. I couldn't get this fixed. So while I'm working on the tractor and it can't be worked on, I'm doing snow speeders. And when I'm done with the snow speeders, then I'm going to be back working on the tractor again. Then I'm going to work on DeLoreans. I just got done doing tar uh, the Daleks from Doctor Who. Uh, gross, I do want to make a sword. I want to make Michonne's katana from The Walking Dead. I know, Kobe. <laughs> uh, poor Richard got the boot. Trolls roll. Roll right on out of here into another show. Well, welcome, Hysteria. Thank you very much for coming back. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, Nikki. Uh-oh, what's that? Mad Saint. I'm waiting on Heart Doctor to come in with bad news. So you're my distraction. Well, um, I'm sorry, Mad Saint. Doggone it. Number one. Watch over Mad Saint. He um, he needs your assistance. Thank you for your help. Uh, from Washington State, USA. Well, Joe, uh, you'll have to talk to Honey Bunny on that one because that's kind of like personal information. And I don't know how to answer that because um, 
she's kind of particular about me spreading that information. And so, but speaking for me, I was born at Fort Lewis, Washington, and I have lived here my whole life. No, Nikki, I was in the Navy during Vietnam, but I never went to war. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, no, Crystal, this is my little office. I pay 400 a man, uh, month rent on this little office. And so, not a man cave. <laughs> Good, catchy thing, though. Thank you, Joe, very much. Well, I'm sorry, Leon. Um, everybody, uh, we need some prayers for, for different people. And thank you very much for helping. And so uh, Leon says he's got stage three uh, lung cancer. And I know that with all the amazing things that there are today that he can win and beat it. Number one, you know, Leon, thank you for helping him to beat stage three cancer. Hi, Mason. Absolutely. Thank you all for praying for Leon. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Peeler. Thank you, Nikki, for your subscription. Jeez, Mark, that's rough. Salam. Absolutely. Thank you, Karachi. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Thank you, Derek. And Leon, I, I need to explain something to you right now. I, uh, I read a book about a gal that uh, passed away in 1935. She was a pastor in America. And that was unheard of for a female back in the day. She wrote some books. Uh, Frances Scovel Shine, I believe is her name. The Power of the Spoken Word and the Word is Your Wand. If you can find those books, Leon, read them. Because how we speak changes our lives for the future. And for you, Leon, that's the absolute best thing I can think of for you to read. And they're around. You can find them. And so, the word is your wand and the power of the spoken word. Really important. Thank you, Farheem, very much. Thank you, Nikki. And um, Leon, you're getting prayers from YouTube and TikTok. Hi, Van. Nice to see you. Um, just about everything, Charlie. <laughs> and that's a uh, that's. Not an understatement. <laughs> uh, just about everything. Obi Wan J. Nice to see you. Thank you, dog. Thank you, Fahim, very much. I believe that the world needs to unite because we're all human beings. All right? It doesn't matter what you are. It does not matter where you are. It doesn't matter what... doesn't matter. 
matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what religion you are. We all live on the third rock from the sun. That makes us human beings, not races. One race, human race. We need to start speaking better about the human race and stop all this war. It's, it's ridiculous. It hurts women. It hurts children, old people, young people. It destroys life. It destroys buildings. War is bad. I don't care for what reason. There is no good reason for war. We need to end the war. Israel, Hamas, Palestine, Russia, China. It doesn't matter where we are. America. We got wars in America. We got people in the inner cities fighting in the inner city. It's wrong. And I don't know how to fix it other than to speak better about all people in this world. Because we really need to save it because this we, we got nowhere else to go. Uh, well, Daniel, if I'm standing on a street corner with my daughter or my wife and somebody comes up and tries to rob us, uh, I'm not a pacifist. But if they leave us alone, then it's different. Squanchy, nice to see you, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, no, Gross, I don't have any Halo yet. I I've thought about it, though. Uh, right now, Obi-Wan Jay, I'm building um, snow speeders. Uh, I know, Torch, right? Uh, well, uh, Miss Woo Woo, I'm 70. Thank you, Stefano, very much. Hi, Dexter. Welcome back. Thank you, Daniel, very much. Uh, from Hungary? Welcome to the show, SJ. Oh, thank you, Aaron, for the cowboy head. Ed, I got to go dancing now. That was a fancy cowboy head. Got to go to the saloon. Uh, you did, Christopher. It was uh, very good, Dagwood. Hi, Janice. Welcome to the show. No, gross. I don't have Starship Troopers. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Bot's back. Welcome back, Bot. Hi, Broderick. Well, I tell you what, Bot. I got these at Wally World. Uh, I think they were 10 bucks or 8 bucks or I don't know. They are Westcott, yeah, Westcott Carbo Titanium Non-Stick. I've had them, and as you can see, I've worn the handles uh, down on these things <laughs> because I use them so much. They never go bad. Buy good scissors. And don't mess with the rest. Thank you, Kevin, very much. I've been raised by a tyrannical dad, and I, I never liked him. <laughs> he was mean. <laughs> uh, and then I hung out with motorcycle hounds after Vietnam, and then I went to the Gray Bar Motel for 20 years. I don't want to be a tough guy. Don't like it. It's not good. But if I have to go there, I do know how which is unfortunate for anyone that happens to be around me that are doing me or my family harm. It's something I believe that you have to protect your own. And unfortunately, there's, there's a lot of bad in this world right now. And a lot of people are having to protect their own and it's just creating more problems. We gotta try and figure out how to talk it out. And I believe, um, I believe it can be done. Because I went through 20 years in prison. All right, 20. I never had a fight, not one fight in 20 years because I was able to talk past the fighting situation. I know, Aaron, that cowboy has a cool one. <laughs> I am Roger. Thank you very much. Roger, Roger. 
<laughs> Hi, AJ. Hi, Jax. Nice to see you. I know, Kevin. Absolutely. Hi, Galaxy. Galaxy Gaming. Nice to see you. Hi, Marie. Oh, I've never heard of that, Fahim. Well, AR, I already had my lunch. Yeah, I, I ate half a dag. Uh, this, this sandwich was two meal deal. I got enough for dinner. And so, yeah, I'm all done. Hi, Kennedy. Luann Costa, nice to meet you. Absolutely, short. <laughs> Dog gun torch. Absolutely, I agree. Piano guy, thank you, piano guy, uh, for the donation. And y'all. That was a piano guy just donated off a of cash app. Thank you, piano guy, very much. I appreciate the help. That is awesome. That's five spots on the wheel. Uh, yes, Colby, you can. Talk to Honey Bunny. Thank you, Leon. Uh, um, no, that is L-U-A. Luan Costa. Luan. Thank you, Luan. Hi, Larissa. Thank you, Anastasia. I'm doing very good. Thank you very much. I uh, know Torch, he is gone. Oh, you are? Oh, really? Oh, thank you, Aaron. Okay, thank you very much, Aaron. That is awesome news. And thank you all for your support, for helping me with Venmo and Cash App, and uh, for all the roses that you guys put up. Thank you very much. Yes, Torch, I did forgive my father. But I didn't have to like him. Uh, my mom had her difficulties as well because my dad was in her life for 60 years, you know, and he made things horrible for all of us. And so it was horrible for her and she didn't do things right either. But I don't dwell on that. The past in my lifetime was bad, but it made me who I am today which I think is a good person. I do, Daniel, very much. Thank you, Aaron. Absolutely. All right, DJ, take care. All right, Peeler. Thank you, Evelyn. Oh, thank you very much. My glasses are pretty, pretty cool. They're, they're them, you know, titanium or whatever they are. They don't break. <laughs> At least they're not supposed to. Hi, me, Bob. Welcome to the show. Hi, VJ. I remember you. Well, Buckshot, uh, I, I'm a lot of, I got a lot of grandkids all over the planet. Thank you, Jax. Hi, Rocco. 
How's Jackson doing? I am doing very well. Made a Dagwood today. Very good sandwich, too. Nope. Pepsi. All the way. Uh-oh. It's empty. That means I'm going to have to go to water. <laughs> okay, Torch. I get it. Absolutely, Daniel. You know the answer to that one. Thank you, Kid VR. Welcome back, by the way. France is in. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Luann. Well, Farheem, I like to splurge once in a while. This is gone. I'm not making another one. And from the rest of the day, I'll be drinking water. And so, I mean, I don't look too bad for 70s, so I don't think the Pepsi is hurting me much. The water's good. Uh, Tudor, uh, Tudor, I use all kinds of recycled paper out of my house. All right, I eat the food, I get the paper left over. Oh, that's fantastic. You science, wow. Well, uh, Finn, I build toys out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. And these are the paper that I use, mostly. I also use uh, napkins and uh, tissue paper and junk mail, um, construction paper. And it kind of depends. Like the construction paper I use to make these uh, rubber tires out of paper. Well, Torch, it depends. Now, uh, people are smarter today than they were when my father was young. Uh, oh, thank you, Finn. But I am, I'm 70. Born January, or January. Oh, my gosh. Born midnight, November 6, 1953. I can, zombie. I don't have time to do it. But yeah, all I use, recycled paper. That's what I make everything from. You can go to my tutorials on YouTube, The Paper Engineer, and see how it works. Uh, Daniel, I use Elmer's glue or PVA in Europe. It's the best glue for paper that there is. And then acrylic paints. I just paint with acrylic paint. Oh, this? It's it's just a hemp necklace with wood block wood beads on it. All right, Peeler, take care. Dino, Dino forty four. It comes out of my kitchen for free. All right, cracker boxes and cereal boxes, mac and cheese, Pepsi. You know, instant rice. Doesn't matter what it is. If it comes in a box and it's in your kitchen, you can build with it. And believe me, everything I make is made out of paper. That's what I do. Uh, Stefano, the favorite thing? Well, uh, Galaxy Gaming, I think the Russian people are fantastic. I think the oligarchs in Russia, oh, they're horrible. 
Uh, wait a minute. Somebody asked. Oh, favorite thing. My favorite build, the Zaku Gundam. Thank you, Daniel, very much for subscribing to YouTube. Thank you, Fahim. <laughs> Fahim. Sorry, don't. My dyslexia makes me read things wrong sometimes. Thank you, Fahim. Uh, share something about my life. Um, Baharti. I started working at three years old, picking up rocks, because that's all I could do at three years old. And because of that, I have a very good work ethic, because I was raised working. And because of that, now, if something needs to be done, I can pretty much do it, because I've worked my whole life. And that is it, Finn. The Zaku Gundam. I'm sorry, Aaron, very much. And Aaron, is there any way to get that back? Or is it a disability that is not repairable? Uh, yeah, Colby, it is, but it's 100K. Thank you, Anastasia, for your subscription. Yes, Dino, it is. Thank you, Barty. Uh, yes, uh, Dino, I can thank my parents for it. Uh, they were both artists, by the way. My dad was a wood artist and my mom was a painter. <laughs> and so I kind of got it from both sides. Born in 1958. For him, my sister was born in uh, October of 1958. Hi, Charlie. Nice to see you. I have not made any mobile suits yet. Well, I guess that robot back there is kind of. <laughs> Thank you, Texan. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. I got both of them's uh, abilities wrapped into one. Oh, I understand, Darren. Doggone it. Well, Aaron, uh, my page uh, to teach you how to do this stuff is over on YouTube. It's called The Paper Engineer. And I don't know if you can be able to do this, but paper is pretty lightweight. You might be able to start doing this stuff. I don't know, but I, I think you could. And I know number one uh, believes in you enough that I believe you can too. So, I don't know. It's worth a try. Thank you, Barty, very much. Well, um... I've won 20 uh, ribbons in uh, the last three years for my paper art. Niles? Hi, Niles. Hi, Leo. Thank you for the puffy art. Hi, Trip. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. How's Moya coming along? <laughs> uh, she's here almost always, Texan. <laughs> I do, Anastasia. I love building things. I love teaching how to build stuff. Because once people learn my building principles, they're from years of building all kinds of stuff. Metal, wood, you know, and you can apply the building techniques that I have to just about anything.
<laughs> well, thank you, Niles, <laughs> very much. Oh, that's good, Trip. Awesome news. Yes, yes, Jazz. It's water. It comes out of our well. Uh, it comes out of Joe's well. It just happens to be in a plastic bottle. But yeah, absolutely water. I don't drink, ever. Oh, it is. 320, Char Charlie? Um, what are you over on the East Coast? Well, Aaron, thank you. I'm glad they help. Paper is the way. <laughs> thank you, Mando. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mando to hire. Oh my God, you're famous, Mando. Welcome to my show. Nice to see you. I love watching your videos on my For You page. It's really cool. Uh, your bike is like awesome. And Grogu, very good touch. I already made a Dagwood today. Andrew, I'm from Washington State, USA. Wait a minute, what's that? Uh, yeah, uh, and Dino, it's not my, my brother-in-law, Joe. This is his property that I live here, and I rent this office from him. And he's got a well, and it's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Mando. So are you, my friend. A fantastic job you're doing. I love your truck. <laughs> Yeah, very good. I'm doing very well, Niles. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. Hi, I'm... In Brisbane, Australia? Wonderful news. We truly are worldwide. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed the Dagwood. Oh, well, welcome, Andrew. Yeah, I'm from Washington State, USA. Ah, uh, Aaron, it's very good water. Uh, they they got a very very good well. Well, kind of old school. Um, yeah, kind. Well, the woods mostly. All right, Mando, we love you, buddy. Take care. Yes, they are, Dino. Well, water is very good. Um, when I was like um, four years old, rough three years old, my dad drove our well in the Kent Valley, 194 feet, and we hit an artesian well. Four inches uh, pipe, and water came out of it about six inches, just constant. Very amazing water. Today, today, it is still germ-free. Thank you, old school, very much. Hey, everybody. Um, oh, thank you, Manda, for the for the crown. Mando, um, the Mandalorian, Mando to hire. I love his videos, you guys. I watch him all the time. Uh, very, very cool human being from the UK. Uh, playing Mantis, Bigfoot is hard to find because they don't want to be found. And because they're like hermits, all right, they move around. They're never in one place. They just keep moving around. So they're very difficult to find. And when you're talking about jungles and things, the mountains in the Northwest that run up along Canada and the United States, that 
stuff is so rugged and so steep and so thick with brush and timber, you're never going to find them. Hi, Amanda, and thank you for the crown. Yes, Aaron, it is. Uh, yes, Crystal, absolutely correct. <laughs> In Bloom? Well, thank you very much, In Bloom. Uh, nice thing about uh, you don't have to find me out in the woods. You can find me right here on YouTube. Uh, yes, Farheem, I collect antique things. Um, just a second, I'll show you one. Let me see. I got one up here, I think. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, it's right here. All right. Farheem, um, this... All right. This is a ball and claw foot, oops, wait a minute, stay, piano stool, all right, glass balls on the feet, piano stool, uh, like antique, <laughs> and the cool thing is I found it at a garage sale for 15 bucks, I like old stuff, kind of cool. Welcome, Indonesia. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you very much for the gifter badge. Thank you, Playing Mantis. Very much. Thank you, guys. And I want to thank everybody on YouTube for your support. Thank you for helping me with donations on um, Venmo and my Cash App. Thank you very much. It helps out every, every little bit. helps a lot. I know, Dino. Really? Yeah, it is. Thank you, Kenneth. Hi, Thomas. Nice to see you. And thank you, Playing Mantis, for all of those uh, gifts. Thank you very much. Thank you for the rose, Remura. Remuru. Hi, the gunner. <laughs> da, da, gunner. Thank you, gunner, very much. Well, uh, Dots, a paper engineer is somebody that uh, can build stuff out of paper. All right. Uh, like, these, uh, like these wheels and tires on this tractor that I'm making, a uh, John Deere, are paper. Thank you, Mantis, very much. Thank you, Hags. Haggis. Haggis. <laughs> Thank you, Haggis. Yes, Lucas, I remember you. Well, <laughs> uh, Sadie, it uh, might not be a safe thing to do. Uh, my moderators like to boo people for that. Yes, Haggis, nice to see you. Hi, Nazuko. I would have thought you were saying Bleach. <laughs> I've watched Bleach too. It's anime. Uh, yes, yes way. It's paper. <laughs> and I. a lot of people watch me build this. Hi, Drywall. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a bit. Yes, Nazuko. I try to. Hi, USMC. Welcome to the show. Yes, they're made out of paper because uh, I'm good at what I do. <laughs> and so, yeah. Okay, Dots wants to see some of my creations. Uh, how about this one? This is a good one. This is a T-16 Skyhopper. Hi, D-9. You, you're an awesome bulldozer, by the way. Oh, for him, that's so cool. Yeah, all the stuff that I have in furniture-wise are all going to be antiques. I don't want anything new. And uh, then, you know, you might like to make dozers or, or something like this. Um, or maybe you, you might want to get good enough to where you can make big toys. 
like this one. Good night, Stefano. Hi, Z man. How you doing, grandkid? Nice to see you. If I could go back to college, what would I study? Huh. Well, I would say probably string theory. Because I really do believe that everything is tied in together. And I think string theory is going to prove that. Ah, uh, yes, octo, uh, paper. 11,390 pieces of paper. Oh, Thomas, no, no, no. That's, that's hard. I've broken uh, legs. <laughs> Uh, yes, it took me 536 hours to make that. I know, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Yes, it is good. Well, Day, you have to start small. All right? You have to start with micro machines. Little, little things like this or like this. And learn how the builds are. Learn how the paper works. Build different toys, little ones. And get better at it. And make more and more and more. Oh, Amanda, quantum mechanics. Oh, that's cool. Tell me something cool about quantum mechanics. Uh, fishy. It's in the videos. It's posted. Uh, thank you, Day. But what you have to do, you have to start small, guys. You have to start making micro machines first. Learn how the paper works. Oh, drywall. That's so cool. Yes. Yes. Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe. Simple and cheap. All your paper comes out of your kitchen for free. If, if you observe the domain, it may not exist. Well, that is, that is very true, uh, Amanda. But the cool thing about that is you can observe things and touch them. They're still not solid, okay? But because our brains realize that they're grippable, we can grip them so we don't, they don't go through because our brains understand we have to have solid objects to stay here in this realm, if our brains could be trained in different, I think that we could actually move through things. Oh, thank you, Nikki, very much. And um, Nikki, Amy, that's my wife, the paper engineer. Yeah, that's my wife, Honey Bunny. I do, Anastasia, I study constantly. It's uh, never ending. I've, I've one of the things I learned long ago, and I stick to, never stop learning. I'll be learning until the day I pass into the next lifetime. I, I know dots, but look at this, okay? Because I teach you how to build a superstructure. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do to it. You can, you can make it strong enough to survive anything except being run over, set on fire, or buried in water. Well, Manda, I think that quantum mechanics and string theory, they're going to find our go together hand in hand. Uh, they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes. Uh, uh, well, uh, Farheem, I don't have time to do that. I'm sorry. I, I don't harden it at all. 
once you glue once you glue your superstructure together and then put your armor on top of uh, the skin, the Elmer's glue uh, turns it into like plywood. Okay? It, it makes it, and then you paint it with acrylic paint. Makes it very, very tough. Thank you, Dots. Well, no, drywall. <laughs> yes, yeah, set them on fire. This <laughs> It will destroy them. Oh, well, Amanda, I disagree with you. <laughs> I think your structure is fine. And the more you learn, Amanda, the more you'll understand that it is. Because, number one, he gave us all a specific design. All right, that's what makes us human beings. We are all different. Totally. But yet the same. We're all human. And so... With that, you just have to find out what works for you the best. Uh, yes, drywall, it absolutely is. That's why my builds, all right, this paper glued on top of itself, 14 layers, is so strong that it's very difficult to destroy it. Yes, Manda. And it's cheap. You can get this at the dollar store for a buck and a quarter. Elmer's glue. If you're in Europe, it's PVA. Still very cheap. You want to see other cool things. Okay, did I show you the dragonfly? I, I might have. Good night, Thomas. Take care. Hi, Fleeb. Everything is up. Especially number one. And if I miss your comments, you guys, it's because I got... Uh, TikTok over here, I'm, I'm chatting over there too. And so I got to watch two chats. Sometimes it gets to be a little hectic. And then, of course, I have uh, the Walking Dead's iconic baseball bat, Lucille. Hi, Lava. Nice to see you. I got banned for hate speech. And as you all know, I don't have hate speech, you piece of garbage. Get off of my screen. I don't split screen. I don't battle people. It's ridiculous. Hi, Joes. Uh, the dragonfly is pretty cool. Hi, Gucci. Nice to see you again. Emil, nice to see you. Somebody sent me a rose. Oh, a heart me. Thank you, Joes, for the heart me. Hi, Keanu. Nice to see you. Parker? Parker? Hi, Parker. How you doing? Goodbye, monkey. Whoever's my... Uh, kick out, monkey. He's a nasty human being. Kick him out. Hi, Octopus. Nice to see you. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, did you miss it, Parker? <laughs> Hi, H.O. Nice to see you. Well, Lava, I was probably saying something bad to a troll over on YouTube, and the TikTok bots kicked me out. Oh, Amanda, that's so cool. Oh, that's fantastic. That's, that's awesome, Amanda. Well, Taco, I wish there was. I'm 70, Taco. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, I have to say YouTube because the chatbots on TikTok like to kick me out if I talk about YouTube. <laughs> Thank you for the team bracelet, Manda. 
Norway, Daniel. Nice to see you, Daniel. How are you doing? Hi, Rubber Ducky. 10-4, Rubber Ducky. Better watch out for the Smokies. Well, <laughs> it's not right. This finger's bad. And I think I broke it. But it works fine. And I talked to the doctor about it. As long as my hand works fine, uh, I don't have to worry about it. And it does. Yes, it's Lucille. Hi, Orange. Nice to see ya. Hi, Reese. Uh, thank you, Haggis. I feel younger, too. Yeah. I love my shows. I love talking to people all over the world. You energize me. Uh, Roscoe? <laughs> I am the real paper engineer on TikTok and on YouTube, the paper engineer. You want to see the dragonfly? I've been good, Gucci. Thank you very much. All right, drywall. Take care. Thanks for stopping. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Yeah, the garden's doing really, really well. It is test garden number two, you guys. Last year was number one. It did okay. Hi, USA. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. You bet, Roscoe. Right here on YouTube, the paper engineer. And uh, Roscoe, I do Monday through Friday, noon to two. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, cool dragon fry, right? Thank you, Haggis. Hi, King. Welcome to the show. Uh, yes, Empire, I got uh, uh, three different kinds of taters in the ground. Yukon gold, reds, and whites. Albania's in. Hi, KD. Nice to see you. Hi, Warrior. Thank you for following me, you guys. I appreciate all that help. Thank you for all of the gifts you send me. Every rose helps out a lot. Mr. Ongyom <laughs> and his buddy Mater. Mater drives a good tow truck, too. Uh, you can't, Silas. There's stuff that I got that you can't buy. Take something like this, all right? This one-of-a-kind paper toy that I made. Yeah, Wayner, I remember you. You're the only Wayner in the show. Uh, this is 5K. Uh, the ship from Tantooine. Uh, yes, it is. Yep. Yep, from Tantooine. Uh, T-16 Skyhopper. Uh, Luke used to fly one in Beggar's Canyon shooting womp rats. Chesnia's in. Nice to see you, colon. What is that, a semicolon? What is that? It's, a, it's like a, it's like a, what? I don't know what it is. White spot. I'm going to call you white spot. Thank you, Chesnia. What's up? Sun and Moon and Stars at number one, always. Amphi uh, Roma, Rona, R-O-N-A. Thank you, Rona, very much. I'm doing very good, Thomas, thank you. Uh, what sweets are you taking down? <laughs> I like sweet tarts. <laughs> well, thank you, Lord. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Hi, Trojan. Oh, I uh, my shoulder, a uh, torn rotator cuff. And I, I tore it again. It's really bad. So, um... They're going to have to work on it. I think I'm going to have to have orthoscopic surgery. Well, Daniel, I've got uh, almost 60 hours into the tractor right now, and it looks like I'm going to have another 60 to go. It's about half done. Uh, taking down sweets? I did. What kind of sweets are you taking down? <laughs> Thank you, Thomas.
Well, that's good, Crystal. I, I had two streams going, so it's very difficult sometimes to catch up with everything. I do have a wife, Haggis. Her name's Honey Bunny. Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, you know, it just has to be repaired. Uh, orthoscopic surgery, probably. Uh, thank you very much. I like doing what I do. Hi, Sophia. Well, thank you, Sophia. My name is Michael, the paper engineer. My wife's name is Honey Bunny. Well, Rimuru, I don't understand. Well, Sophia, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I love Honey Bunny with all my heart. And so, uh, I understand. What's up? Sun and moon and stars and number one, always. Hi, Grand Kid. Nice to see you again. You haven't been in in a while, Undead. A paper engineer, Sophia. I teach people how to build paper toys. Okay? This is recycled paper that I made these wheels and tires out of. And they go on to this John Deere tractor I'm building. And uh, this is a chalet that I'm someday maybe going to finish. I'm not sure. Uh, recycled paper out of my kitchen. Premium crackers. It's what I build with. Yeah. Absolutely. All paper. Use Emmer's glue and acrylic paint. Uh, Sophia, you want to see something really, really awesome? This is uh, this is my Star Destroyer. It's hollow. All right, it has a superstructure inside it, and over eleven thousand three hundred and ninety pieces of paper, and over five hundred hours of build time. Oh, thank you, Sophia. My Dagwoods are pretty cool. Uh, I got a two meal Dagwood today. I'll have some for uh, tonight or tomorrow. This is my biggest build, Manda. What's your son's name, Manda? I'll give him a shout out. I'm a Hulkman. Nice to see you. No, don't tell him I'm Santa. I'm not Santa. Santa lives up in the North Pole. He gives you toys. I don't do that. I teach you how to build toys, which is better than what Santa does. They are finished. Their Daleks are done and they're all gone. This is mine. Nobody gets this one. Thank you, Sophia. Hi, Braxton. A Dagwood is a sandwich. A very healthy sandwich. Lane? Hi, Lane. How are you doing? Oh, I don't have a favorite songwriter. My first creation, I can show you that. My very first build in January of 2010. This Millennium Falcon made out of a cracker box, uh, 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 mac and cheese box, acrylic paint, and Elmer's glue. Uh, your name is Jack? Well, Manda, I got to write that down now. Doggone it. Okay, Manda equals Jack. Okay. All right, Jack. Thank you for the rose, Jack. All right, Sophia. Take care. Um, uh, I already built the Gundam. Okay? I already built it. They wouldn't let me enter it in the Gundam competition. Whose name is Jack? Amanda, your name is not Jack? I thought you said your name was Jack. Wait a minute. Oh, Amanda said his name is Jack. Oh, geez. All right. Well, uh, Cord, uh, I've been developing my building skills for 15 years.
Uh, well, Grass, according to the pictures that I pulled off the internet, it's a Zaku Gundam. It's super deformed. So you have to look up SD Zaku Gundam. Hi, John. I am IR, I'm 70. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. I love what I do. Oh, your son's name is Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, geez. Thank you, Amanda. Jack, uh, sorry I got all goofed up on that. Uh, between the two chats, sometimes I get uh, all messed up. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, for helping me get that. Come on for the sandwich and stay for the Gundam. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ryko. I am um, Momo. Yeah, I am. I have everything to be thankful for. I'm alive. I have a great show on YouTube and TikTok. I have fantastic people that listen to me all over the world. Uh, no big projects planned. Uh, because big projects take too long. So I'm not planning on that. Oh, thank you, Amanda. And thank you, Jack. Uh, Amanda, have you guys gone to uh, my YouTube site? Hi, Alex. Welcome back. Oh, L-I-M-A-O. Welcome back to the show. Wait a minute. Hi, Vina. Silver Wolf. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the show. Uh, yes, I say YouTube. That way the chat bots over on TikTok don't kick me out. Well, I tell you what, Manda. I think uh, you and Jack would absolutely have a blast building stuff. And please, whatever you do, start with the tutorials on small builds first and start learning how the paper works. And always remember, man, to build at least three pieces at the same time. Because while this one is drying, you can work on this one. And while this one is drying, you can work on another one. Also, by the time you get to your third build, You've learned things, and your third one will look better than your first one. Thank you, Alex, very much, and thank you all for your support. Yes, Mark, I have. That's because I was not allowed to be a child by my father. And so the child in me stayed there. And now <laughs> I can play with my toys because I'm retired. Uh -huh. So... The child within me lives again. Well, uh, Grass, I don't know what I'm going to build next as far as Gundams go. So. Oh. Well, Manda, I used to make jewelry. This is Botswana Agate. In sterling silver. I made all of this myself. And so I understand about making jewelry. Yeah. Oh, I got it back today, Craig. Actually, I got it back Friday night, but it was too late to do a show. So I waited till today. Absolutely, Cord. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I understand, Manda. Hi, Golda. Samantha, how are you? Welcome to the show. I do have grandkids. 
uh, my stepson and my daughter. I got uh, five, six, seven grandkids. Uh, yes, Lena, 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 Lena. I am a Scorpio. And here's the really trippy thing about it. Oh, Pepsi burp, excuse me. I was born uh, midnight, November 6th. That's exact dead center Scorpio. I don't know if that means anything or not, uh, other than I don't have a cusp from either side. Oh, Mark, that's so cool. Yes, Roscoe. Uh, Rask Roscoe. Yeah, Roscoe. What do you need to know? Ah, uh, no, TV guy. I do not. And I don't have Optimus Prime either. Hi, Craig. I'm back. <laughs> Absolutely. I love Pepsi. Ah, uh, yeah, Dane. I made a brand new Dagwood today. You missed it. It was at 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. Or actually about two and a half hours earlier. But it's posted. Hi, Rosie. Midnight. B R I S I N G. Brissinger, UK. I build paper toys out of recycled paper. Uh, Dagwoods on Tuesdays and Thursdays, action. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, tatted. T A T. Tatted up. Nice. You bet, Craig. Um, they didn't ban me for life. They just banned me for four days. I did? Brissinger? <laughs> I bet that's tough on a lot of people. Uh, the war in Palestine and Israel. It needs to stop. We have to figure out how to get the religions of this world to work together, not apart from each other and fighting each other's wrong. Only the innocent get hurt in war. The thing between Israel and, and Palestine, it's all bad. Iraq, bad. Russia, bad. China, bad. If you want to pick on other people in this world, you have no right to do that. We are all human beings. We're not races, colors, creeds. We're not... We're one race. We're the human race. We need to start doing that more and telling people it's got to stop. There has to be a way to communicate one side against another without war. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I really, I don't. But it needs to be done. There's got to be smarter people in the world than me that can figure this out because we need to do it. Where we're headed is the wrong way. Hi, man, Stachio. Nice to see you again. Well, card block? Uh, cord block. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I've never quite fit a mold of anything. Uh, I know, Frankenstein. I, I know. Yes, we do, Craig. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, Briss, uh, Brissinger. Brissinger. I wish there was some way I could shorten that up. I can't, Jessica. I'm a felon. I can't run. Yes, humanity needs to win. 
The human race needs to win out over bigotry, religion. It's, it's just wrong. And I'd, I'd do the best I can just by talking about it. I know, Dino. They do. But eventually it's going to come down to where the powerful are going to get stomped on by the people. Because there's more of us than them. I uh, know, Jessica. I'm not going to make uh, aluminum can projects. <laughs> yeah, grass. Soccer's cool. Or football. Yeah, it's it's called either way. Uh, thank you, man. But I, I can't run. I'm just not presidential material. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, Craig, absolutely. Humanity is good. All right. I've met people in my phone shows from all over the world, Muslim, Christian, it, all over the world. And they're all the same. They laugh, they cry, they're sad. They mourn people when they're gone. All right. That makes us the human race. That's what we are. So we need to start figuring out how to talk out our problems instead of shooting them out. It's a bad thing. I try, Amanda. I do. Well, Grass, go to my tutorials on YouTube. Start learning this. You'll be able to do it. A halo ring would be very cool. Hi, Cookie. Absolutely, Cookie. I believe there is only one, no matter what he's called. Thank you, Jessica. You have a really bad cough. Uh, okay, that's Fatima. Uh, mix honey and lemon uh, together and just a spoon and just uh, sip it. It'll help. Uh, yes, Fatima, I do. There is only one. It doesn't matter what he's called in what part of the world. I believe there's only one. Have faith in him. Uh, yes, Wraith, uh, there are a lot like that. And we kind of have to watch out over them because they're goofed up. Well, uh, Grass, if the aliens show up this year, it could be that we'll end up with unlimited energy. Hi, AJ. It's never too late, okay? And, uh, Harkim, it's never too late. God doesn't throw away anyone, ever. Because he can separate sin from whatever all right because there's people that don't believe in god doesn't matter god believes in them and all the people that say oh you got to believe or it's too late it's not that's wrong of religion to have done because it makes people fearful he's he runs everything you think that people are afraid of him a billion worlds from here no they're not because there's a reason for it he cares about life, no matter where it is. I don't believe in that stuff. You don't have to fear him. There's no reason to fear God. None. He loves everyone. Why fear someone who has compassion, understanding, forgiveness, kindness, love, and the will to make it all work? There's no reason to fear him. That is religion talking, and religion's messed up. Okay, you guys, that's enough of my sermon for the day. <laughs> I've got to go do the garden. 
All right, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much for all the gifts you send me. It really helps out. And remember, everyone, it doesn't matter what you are. doesn't matter where you are. doesn't matter who you are. does not matter what color you are. And it does not matter what religion you are. We all live on the third rock from the sun. That makes us human beings. We need to be better human beings. Stop. Stop judging people. It's not our right to do that. That's his right only. And the thing is, when you judge people because of something they say or do or don't do, you're making a mistake because we don't have that right. So take care, everybody. I'll be back in two hours. See you all then. Have a great day.